I have decided to try six Linux distros to see how quickly a noob with some technical knowledge can get them installed, updated and running a game on Steam with a controller. Stick around to find out how I get on with the current distro and be sure to subscribe to see the rest. All right then, so first up we have Solus and our time starts soon as we click install. So ready, steady, go. Right, okay, so welcome. Yeah, okay, I select language. I'm gonna do it properly because I want proper British English. Next, uh, London, that's fine. UK, that's fine. Um, I don't want to overwrite that because it's my main drive. That's the one I want, it's 250 gigs. We click on that one. I'm going to erase the disk. Um, so before, so currently it's empty. Afterwards, it's going to be Solar, uh, Solaris, Solus, uh, and then we put this stuff in. Uh, 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 uh. My simple password. Make things easy. Install. Let's go. Okay, so it's done partition. It's done all that stuff. It's filling up the file systems. Nice get sol.us.block. So I've never heard of Solus until I started investigating different distros. And this is supposed to be a nice easy distro, which is why I've got it as the first one, as the, the least difficult. And I've purposefully chosen either base distros or independent distros. I've not gone for Bazai and those sorts of things because that just wouldn't, wouldn't work because <laughs> they're designed for you to install games. So... They'd be really easy, right? But the, the, these ones are a bit different, so yeah. So once we've installed and we've rebooted, we're then going to do the obligatory update because I think it's, it's good practice just to update. As soon as you install a new operating system, first thing you should do is update, in my opinion. So I'm going to practice what I preach and do that as part of this, uh, this test. Uh, so we've got to do the updates. Give me a prompt, that's nice of them, isn't it? Available updates, what have we got? Uh, 1.6 gig, let's do it, go. A few moments later. Yay! Just do a quick check for updates. All good, let's go to search. Search for Steam. Come on, concentrate really, really hard. Do I have to close it and open it again? I think I probably do, don't I? Because it's probably re-cataloging everything. Yay! Install, let's go. Yep, we need all that. Oh, 246 items to download. Come on, come on, come on! Extracting it all now, so downloading it, I'm extracting it, then it's got to install it. We're going to be here till Friday. It's Wednesday, by the way. Oh, so done, we're done. Right, okay, so, there's no launch button here. Okay, so we're going to here, type in Steam. Well, that's not ideal, is it? Where's, where's there no button to start it? You know, normally you'd have, like, start, go, 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 gadget, Steam, games. Ah, oh, there we go. Weird that it didn't have, it didn't appear in the search. Don't think I like that. Yay! So annoying thing is, it pops up all your friends and it pops you online. And we're just going to install Recoin. It is downloading it, right? Yay! Come on, come on, come on! Play, 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 play. <laughs> we wish we got the game started. Is the controller working? Yes. Stop the clock, stop the clock. Well, there you go. That was Solus. And it was pretty straightforward to install. As you saw, it's not as complete as I'm used to, and it feels like it's pretty limiting, but you can run games on it, which is the whole point of the video. If you've made it this far, thank you. Let me know in the comments below that you are awesome, or just leave an emoji for the sake of engagement. Thanks for watching, you guys take care, and I'll catch you in the next one.